So the developers of Dead by Daylight are in trouble. These guys try to appease the woke mobs. They try to take the side of the woke activist freaks. These far leftists who've been infiltrating the gaming space. Dead by Daylight just dropped a new DLC. They introduced a new character called The Unknown. They've been receiving consultation from this company called Gamer X, G A Y Mer X, <laughs> whose sole job is to fill video games up with LGBT, elemental P type stuff, stuff that the customers aren't even asking for. So let's read this headline here. Let's look at this story because it looks like they tried to appease the mob and the mob is now lashing out at them because I guess they didn't do it right. You can never satisfy these people. Transgender actor lashes out at Dead by Daylight after being tricked into voicing the form freak in a skirt. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the character here, man. The unknown. Some monster you're supposed to run from in the game and all of that. This game has been out for years. Really popular. Got millions of people actively playing the game. This character kind of shapeshifts, depends on its victim. It can be in the form of a female, form of a male, but they pick this trans actor, actress, I don't really know what the hell. They pick this one person to do both males and female voices for this monster. The person is complaining about, oh, they tricked me. I didn't know what the character looked like. So let's read their gripe right here. I voiced a character, The Unknown, and Dead by Daylight at the time of the voicing. It was a great experience. I was told at the time I was voicing the character that there was no model and that the creature was supposed to be amorphous. They had no model design before I recorded my lines. So it's my assumption that the design team took my medical history and my ability to use multiple voices as an opportunity to create character models that encapsulate my medical history as trans and capitalize on catering to the transphobic community. <laughs> well, you're assuming wrong to begin with because these developers are trying to make money, man. And it always backfires when these people go into the gaming space, when they go into developing a game, and their first priority is appeasing the left, appeasing wokeness, woke LGBT, elemental P ideology. Oh, they need to think about me. They need to think about my medical history. That's the important thing here. Damn, making a good game. <laughs> so, <laughs> this person believes that they made a character <laughs> of what one of these wolf freaks looks like. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm just saying, look at this. I was tricked into voicing a stereotype. <laughs> so, this person tweeted this, and you had a lot of people mocking it, had a lot of pushback going on. But then you had a lot of people giving them virtual hugs, saying, oh, it's okay, maybe we need to boycott this company, stuff like that. So Twitter added some community notes to try to clear it up, basically saying, no, this character doesn't always look like this. It could shapeshift. It has many forms. But these people took this very specific image and said, oh, you're just mocking trans people. This is what y'all straight people believe that a trans looks like. <laughs> you guys are making a character of me. That's what they're trying to say to take shots at the development company. And I don't feel sorry for the development company. This is what happens when you get in bed with these woke freaks. You can't appease these people no matter how far you go, no matter how much you diss and shit on your normal customers. You're not going to make money by trying to appease these freaks. But like Exhibit A, they sat there and insulted their customers. They put the dude on the can. They had to do it in the bathtub with a bunch of Bud Light cans and stuff. So you try to dish your own customers to try to appease the woke freaks. And it backfired on you. You lost billions of dollars in sales. So these companies should learn. Dead by Daylight should have known better. They should have known. But I guess they did know better because they're sitting there receiving consultation from... Here it is. Gamer X. <laughs> A diversity consultation group that focuses on ensuring LGBT, elemental P representation in video games. Who cares? In fact, let me read this here. Everyone should get to see themselves as the hero. Everyone should get to have the experience where they see themselves and feel empowered to it. That's such a female emotional type take when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to video games, movies, comic books, whatever you're looking at. Because generally speaking, when you look, most men don't give a damn. For example, 
Two of the biggest icons, Goku, <laughs> a Japanese-based manga character from the 80s. <laughs> then we got Batman, a rich white man. How long ago was that? Damn near 100 years ago when he was created? And you have Latinos, you got black dudes, you got people from the Middle East. They all love Goku, they all love Batman and whatever other characters you can cock up. We don't say, oh, we need a black Super Saiyan. We need a homosexual Super Saiyan. We need Batman to be revised. We need to turn him into a black man now. But you see it all the time when you look at these things that are piece to females, like Little Mermaid. Oh, we can't have a white girl with red hair. That's not good. I need to be able to see myself. So in order to like the Little Mermaid, we need to turn it black. <laughs> and that's just one example. So it's absolutely retarded. When you go into the video game space, whatever your favorite game is, you might like the character you've been following this gaming franchise for years. You don't think, well, I need the character to look like I look in order to like the game. You think, oh, this game is cool. I can't wait for the next one. For example, I've been playing GTA forever. I never said, man, I need a character that looks just like me. I need a character like this. But you see a lot of females who jump into these spaces and all of a sudden they want to change stuff because they need to identify with these characters. They need to be able to say, oh, this character has the same skin color as me. They need to be able to say, oh, I'm gay, so I need the character to be gay. It's such a ludicrous take and most of your customers who've been buying your stuff, following your franchise for years, most of these people don't give a damn about that type of stuff. But yeah, I just think this story was hilarious. <laughs> In fact, let me look at this headline one more time. <laughs> Tricked into voicing the form freaking a skirt <laughs> from a trans actor. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this story. Leave me your thoughts below, share the video. Thanks for watching.